What's poppin' and welcome back to another brand new video. Today we're gonna start working on all of the tasks which we got after we sent out the alpha test. Because you know, we got a lot of feedback saying so you need to change that, you need to change this, blah 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 blah. And today we're gonna be working on just that. So, let's get coding and let's get into the video. So I started the weekend off working on the wrapper for the login page. Because when you forget your password, there's a little notification that pops up saying, hey, do you want to reset your password or do you want to try another time or what do you want to do because you entered the wrong password, goddammit. But on some phones, especially the smaller ones and the older ones, so like the iPhone 8, which I had to test it physically, this did not really work out well because there was an overflow of the pixels at the bottom of the screen, meaning that, you know, it threw an error because the widget I was trying to display was too big for the screen which was displaying it. So I worked uh, in the morning on fixing this essentially and I did that by making it in a flexible widget so that I would expand and take all of the space necessary. After this I moved on to the search page because the search page had quite a bit of a problem which a lot of people reported during the beta test as well and this is the problem where you cannot search in uppercase. It would only take lowercase letters or fully uppercase letters but nothing in between so for example where you had a large letter to begin with and then lowercase after that. So I fixed this by actually adding something to the database where everything is converted into a lowercase title as well. So now on the database every saga has an uppercase title, a regular title and a lowercase title which I guess is a bit of a hassle but it's the only way I could come up with uh, solving this and this probably took two hours. I've spent so long trying to fix this and this is what's a bit frustrating with this whole coding journey but you know you gotta deal with it, gotta move on, Google, YouTube etc. After this I wanted to add some feedback to the play button or to the play page where you for example press 10 seconds ahead or 10 seconds back. I wanted some kind of feedback so that you could see okay now I've pressed 10 seconds forward or I've reversed the 10 seconds. So I did this by adding a snack bar, funny name huh, at the bottom of the app so that when you press one of these buttons it displays a snack bar and as you can see by my face this was some intense snack bar stuff. But now it displays a nice little 10 or minus seconds at the bottom of the page which indicates that you actually fast forwarded or reversed those 10 seconds. So that's all good stuff. So I've been working for about like an hour and a half maybe. Uh, going quite well, you know, quite a, some hiccups here and there, a lot of googling, a lot of YouTubing to find stuff on, you know, how to get around different things because some of these are things I knew I had to change. I just kind of, you know, procrastinated and left them until after this because I couldn't figure it out before. And some of the things I have figured out, which is a positive, but uh, some things I have not. So we're gonna get to that. But first, we're gonna need a little bit of a snack. What's poppin'? It's currently Sunday evening where I've been working, not all day, I kind of, you know, had like a two hour gym session in the morning, so I haven't been working all day, but quite a lot. Most of the day I've been spending uh, either coding or like planning or, or working on some kind of things related to this. So we've made some solid progress actually. Now if we take, take the clips in from yesterday into account, as well as the work we've done today, let's have a look at our gyro stories here. We've done 17 issues out of the ones which we have identified which we need to do according to the beta test feedback and yeah that's quite a large uh, that's quite major progress so let's shuffle over here and if we take a look at for example the 31 issues which we have to do for this whole alpha test we've done 17 of them. So 17 of the corrections which you have to make for the alpha test we've done already so you know we're well ahead of schedule here operating on time unlike the Swedish public transport uh, which is real good. Today I spent mostly working on the, the images so for example right now the, all the images will be cached meaning that they will be saved on the phone once you download it the first time so the loading time once you've loaded the app one time will be so much quicker which is really good for like the saga view and the login page because they were taking a while to load because the images are a bit higher quality there. Uh, so that looks really good feels really good too. What else did I do? Yeah I worked on some of the scroll physics so for example when you scroll now on the category page or the saga view page for example there's a bounce upstairs no not upstairs this is in a condo there's a bounce when you scroll up and there's a bounce when you scroll down before it was only once you scroll down because it was pinned to the top and now we've kind of removed that so it looks a lot better and then other than that we made some minor like cosmetic changes but those were the major 
uh, major changes. Maybe we'll go over like the app again once we're done with all of these cases. But now, the next week or two, we'll have the more difficult ones upcoming, like making audio globally playable. You know the whole set state thing with the play view. So yeah, quite a lot to quite a lot to do, but I'm really happy with the progress we made this weekend. Managed to record quite a bit of it too, which I'm happy about. So yeah, if you enjoyed these videos, if you enjoyed the starting startup grind, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.